Hey guys, I wanted to talk about the bands in Modern. Also, you're going to get a ton, a ton of Oath of the Gate Watts videos to watch very soon of booster box openings, fat pack openings, etc. But I wanted to talk about this. I love Modern's format, but this stuff is just cray cray, right? They banned Pod, they banned, you know, the Delver Cruise deck. Any deck that gets too good, they ban. And that's kind of defeating the purpose because all I would want to play the best deck out there, a deck that is maybe marginally better than the next deck. Now, why did they ban this? My belief is they did it to make money. So Wizard of the Coast is owned by Hasbro, which is a publicly traded company. Every publicly traded company has one goal in mind. They actually have to have that goal in their corporate documents to make their shareholders money. Now, Splinter Twin does not make its shareholders mo money. You might be like, oh, well, it showed Modern Masters two packs. It did back then, but it's not making any money now. So what is going to be the number one deck after Splinter Twin goes away? It's Tron. And it just so happens that we have a lot of new Adrazi Tron that you can buy in Oath of the Gatewatch. Will some of them be playable in that deck? Kozilax Return is pretty good. I think it's going to see play in that Tron deck. I don't get it. Um, Wizard of the Coast has made some interesting decisions in the past, but instead of trying to make better cards that can fit and help decks in modern, they just decided, hey, we're going to take the easy route um, and just ban stuff that is the best deck. And we're going to keep doing it. So if you feel like Tron is safe, it's safe now because they're going to make money from it. But come next rotation when, let's say, we're five color combo deck or something and Tron is no longer being you know sold or cards like Kozilak's Return are no longer being opened you can bet Tron will be banned if it shows results so overall my feelings about this is I'm not surprised Pod got banned Cruise Delver got banned this is not surprising Blood Braid John got banned even before that there was a ton of decks that got banned whatever the best deck will be be in the future it will be banned. I mean, it's really that simple. Also, Summer Bloom got banned, which Emlet Bloom. Not the strongest deck, just kind of a met deck to me, but if it combos off, it combos off. I have less of a problem with Emlet Bloom. I do have an issue with Splinter Twin, uh, given that it is the number one deck right now, and to consistently ban the number one deck just makes people not want to play this format. 